I hope you guys have been reading the article in our Zoogram about our teen volunteers and how they've been tracking eastern box turtles here at the zoo. Now what we'd like to do is talk about some of the places where eastern box turtles live, some of the things that they need in order to survive, and how we can find those sorts of things right here in the city. We're here in Druid Hill Park in the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore, and all around us is plenty of places where box turtles like to live, and you can have spaces just like this in a public park right nearby you. Like other animals, box turtles need certain things in order to survive in their habitat, food, water, and shelter. This area here looks like the perfect box turtle habitat. Let's go explore. All right, let's look under this log and see if we can find anything. Now you gotta be real careful with the log. You're gonna take it, just roll it over, let it sit, and then kind of look underneath here, see if you can't see something moving around. Here's an earthworm. One of the favorite food choices of the baby box turtles, but even adults, if they find worms, they love to eat these things. But the important thing is even if you don't find anything, sometimes there's things in the cracks back through here. Even if you don't find anything, you'd want to put it back and roll it back over nice and gently. If there's anything under there, move it out of the way. Really important to do that. This leopard slug would make a nice big tippet for a box turtle. Just found him under a log, but you can certainly find these guys under leaves, and the box turtles will dig through those leaves looking for these types of animals and the worms we saw before. And he's called the leopard slug because he's got those big old dots all over his body, just like a spotted leopard. Here's some slug eggs back here. Here's a little cricket. Box turtles are omnivores, so they eat not only insects and worms and slugs, but they also will eat different types of plants, and we're gonna explore some of those plants as well. This is a persimmon, it's a type of fruit that's it's a native fruit here to Maryland, and box turtles, if they're uh, living in this territory, they probably know that that's here, and that it's a good source of energy for them. One of the things that box turtles love to eat is, is different types of berries, so this is winter berry. Some of them fall to the ground and they might eat them during the fall as they're getting ready to go under the leaves and roommates. One of the things that uh, box turtles really need in their habitat is they need a place where they can easily dig into the ground. And the reason why they need that is because they don't do well in the cold. So they need a place to brumate, which is kind of like hibernation. They'll go down under the ground, dig down in there. They don't even go that far. Sometimes their shell is just sticking up on top of the ground. But it's real important that they have these places that they can dig in and spend the winter. Just think about the fact that Box turtles like to stay in a small area because they know where everything is in there. It's just like you guys in your house. You know where the food is. You know where everything you need is inside your house. Same thing with the box turtle. So imagine you're trying to find a box turtle in this habitat here, real thick grasses. But if you're trying to find one in here, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. That's why the teens are tracking the turtles. They're able to use radio signals to be able to find out exactly where that turtle is by listening to how loud the beeps are that are coming back from those radio signals. So the important thing that I hope you guys get out of this is you should not take box turtles home. You should make sure that you leave them where you find them. If you do find them crossing the road, you can certainly help them go in the direction that they were heading as long as it is safe for you to do so.